Are you at a point where you are tired of The Sims 4, but you still want to play The Sims? Maybe an older Sims game, The Sims 2, The Sims 3, or even some of the spinoffs, The Sims Life Stories, The Sims Pet Stories, or even Castaway Stories. I doubt many people are going to find interest in this video because I know most of my viewers are usually just interested in The Sims 4, but I think that a lot of us are at a point now where we are fed up with The Sims 4. We're fed up with the bugs, the issues, all of the glitches, the patches, not necessarily fixing things, but introducing more bugs than they fix. And we just want to take a step back and play something else. Well, are you having problems with the older Sims games on the latest Windows operating systems? Windows 10, Windows 11, The Sims 2, and The Sims 3 do not work by default. Now, The Sims 2 will probably be a future video, but this video is going to be all about The Sims 3 in case you own the game on Steam or you have it on the EA app. Now, me personally, I've had issues getting The Sims 3 to load anywhere. Steam, EA, Origin, on Windows 10, and also on Windows 11. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get The Sims 3 working on the latest operating system with some of the latest hardware, including recent generation Intel processors. So this process will work the same on the EA app as it does on Steam, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to get The Sims 3 to open on Steam. So what usually does work is when you click the play button on The Sims 3, it's going to load the launcher. You're going to see all of the packs that you have installed at the very bottom, but the issue doesn't arise until you press the play button for The Sims 3 launcher. You usually wait about five to 10 seconds. Sometimes it's a little bit longer, up to 15 seconds. Nothing happens. The game doesn't load. And then after waiting about 30 seconds or so, you can see that the play button on the Sims 3 tab now shows again. So basically the game just failed to launch. So what you're going to do to get The Sims 3 loading, you're going to press play yet once again, the launcher will open. Furthermore, now before you do anything, before you press play on the actual game, what you want to do is you want to open up the task manager. So you can do so by right clicking the bottom bar on your desktop screen down here and clicking task manager. I know it might be really hard to see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I have an ultra wide monitor, so it's probably squeezing it down to 1080p. Or you can press control alt delete and then hit task manager from from there. So this is basically going to open up all of the active programs that you have running on your computer, all of the system services and whatnot. So from this point, you're going to click the details tab. And what I usually do is I sort it by memory or I sort it by CPU usage. And you're going to see the Sims 3 launcher somewhere close to the top. So you're going to right click on Sims 3 Launcher W.exe and press set affinity. Basically what you're doing is you're telling the program that it needs to open and launch with only one CPU core instead of however many that you have. The problem seems to be occurring because the game for whatever reason does not like the new modern hardware, the high core or high thread count for the latest processors. I am on an Intel i9 14. 900k which is the latest generation processor and if i don't do this it does not load at all so check the all processors box so that you disable them all and i usually just click cpu zero so that only one core is selected press ok and then you are okay to press the play button and then you should notice within about 10 seconds or so sometimes it does have a little bit of a delayed start don't worry it is actually working in the background it just doesn't always pop up right away Way, you're going to notice that The Sims 3 now actually launches but you're not done you're going to notice that there's going to be some skipping during the intro yeah just like that that's not normal So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to want to go back to the task manager now and you're going to want to find the game itself. So not Sims 3 Launcher W.exe, but TS3 W.exe. That is the game itself. You're going to want to right click on that set affinity and it's going to still show that one CPU core that you have selected. Now that you have the game open, you want to re-enable all of the cores again. Then you're going to want to press OK. Another window is going to pop up. You're going to want to press OK on that as long as all the cores 
are selected and then you can close out of it and then boom you're basically good to go i know it's kind of annoying and it is something that you're gonna have to do every single time that you launch the sims 3 that's of course if your sims 3 doesn't launch on its own so this is just a fix not for everyone but for those of you that can't seem to get your game running you will have to do it every single time but honestly i'm at a point now where i've gotten so used to doing it that it doesn't really bother me too much but i still feel like the sims team should go back and fix that because yeah i know that they aren't running support and stuff for these older sims games anymore but a lot of simmers still play them and we want to be able to launch them you know these are still games and these are still packs that we have spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on i literally have the physical cds for literally all of these sims games but i no longer have a cd drive so i can't install it like that and honestly even if i could install it like that through a cd i probably still wouldn't even be able to open it because i'm running such new hardware that wasn't around when they made this game i'm just gonna load into my current save just to show you guys that it does actually work so there we go just like that i'm loaded into my save file everything's working the game is running smooth it's running well and it actually is utilizing all of my cores so you want to make sure that you recheck all of those cores so that it is taking advantage of all of them i don't know if the game is actually using all of them but it's definitely giving my graphics card a little bit of a workout considering this game is 15 years old at this point which is honestly just crazy to say so give this a shot let me know what you guys think let me know if it works for you i usually just have this issue over on steam but i noticed the last time i tried launching it through the ea app i was also having problems so if you're not having any issues at all then this video is honestly probably not for you but if you want to get the sims 3 to work give this a shot let me know how it goes that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching take care and happy life simming <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>